Good evening. Shaolin Kung Fu began in China 1,500 years ago at the Young Forest Temple in Honan Province. His purpose was to achieve enlightenment through meditation and martial exercise. With rigorous training, conditioning, genius innovation, and unwavering dedication, the Shaolin monks and nuns became masters in the art of self-defense. With a direct lineage to the Shaolin temples of ancient China, the Chinese Shaolin Center of Albuquerque to, continues to pass on this complete system to a new generation of practitioners. Today we'll demonstrate a small sampling of what comprises Shaolin Kung Fu. Shaolin monks of ancient China imitated some of the most ferocious beasts of nature. One of the oldest of these styles is the tiger claw fighting system. Tigers are revered in the Orient for their power, speed, tenacity, and agility. Sawyer Heath, first degree black belt. The broadsword is called the general of all the weapons. It can be used for hacking, slashing, chopping, and thrusting. It is fast and powerful and contains a single edge. The straight sword is the most elegant and famous of all the weapons in Chinese history and has two edges. It is called the gentleman of all the weapons. It's primarily used for slicing and thrusting. While most straight sword forms are soft, elegant, and smooth, the one you're seeing today is from the Xingyi fighting system, which focuses on explosive internal power that can penetrate through an opponent's armor. is the king of all the weapons because it's amazing reach and fantastic power. Some of the most famous Chinese generals chose this classical weapon to use on the battlefield. Harry Caldwell, second degree black belt. After Tai Chi Chuan, the second of the internal fighting systems in Shaolin is Pakwa Chang, which is classically performed inside of a circle. The Pakwa practitioner uses sneaky footwork to try and get behind his opponent while simultaneously using deceptive angles of attack. Classical Pak Wa Chong was by Aaron Caldwell, second black song master, first black Pak Wa Chang, two person fighting sets, Joe Pedro and Morgan Dixon, and Miyata Sanchez, so you're here. Iron Robe Chi Kung of Shaolin Kung Fu is one of the most famous internal training methods of Kung Fu. Using the muscles to make a hard shell with the body can protect the practitioner from devastating blows that would otherwise hurt them. It is often said that boards do not hit back. But this is not true for a student practicing Iron Monk.
First degree black belt. Chuan was invented at the peaks of Wudan Mountain in the 1400s by a Shaolin monk named Chan San Feng. Tai Chi Chuan is known as meditation in motion, but it directly translates into the grand ultimate fist. Tai Chi Chuan is usually practiced as a low impact exercise that promotes blood flow, increases and circulates energy throughout the body, and teaches relaxation. The health benefits of Tai Chi Chuan are now well documented here in the West. And Tai Chi Chuan even appeared on the cover of Time magazine as the perfect exercise. Besides its numerous health benefits, Tai Chi Chuan is also respected for its advanced martial sensitivity and application. It employs various hand, foot, knees and elbow strikes, joint locks, sweeps and takedowns. Defensively it is known for its yielding, turning, and deflecting aspects. To cultivate skill and ability, students engage in blindfold, sticky hand practice. Grab a partner. This is be cool. This is cool. Face this way and bow. Face your partner and bow. Blindfold on. Eyes closed. Begin. There's only one thing more formidable in ancient China than someone holding a weapon when they were holding two of them. <laughs> Noble broadswords are famous for their spins, while the double tiger hook swords are renowned for their ability to grab an opponent or entangle a weapon. Charles Kincaid, second degree black belt, Dorian oh. Dixon, first degree black belt. Legends say that the famous general Kwong Kung was a massive warrior, seven feet tall and 300 pounds. His giant halberd is one of the most famous and extraordinary weapons in history. The Kwan Dao can cut, slice, chop, deflect, hook, rip, or be thrust with either end. The swing of a thousand heads was the most feared technique from his, this imposing weapon. as if intoxicated. The movements are erratic and the rhythm is unusual. This particular drunken eight immortal form is athletic and requires a good deal of upper body strength.
Monk Staff is the grandfather of all the Shaolin weapons. It can be used for short, medium, or long range, making it one of the most diverse weapons in the Shaolin arsenal. There are many types of staffs in Shaolin. Double-ended, single-ended, double-tapered, to name a few, and staffs can vary in length. invented their own style, which was inspired by the Grand Mountain itself. Wall Mountain fighting system is long, tall, sheer, heroic, and powerful. Leaps, jumps, sweeps, and rolls are highlighted all throughout this form. Grab a partner. Sorry. Face this way, Bob. Face your partner. Begin. Applications of Shaolin Kung Fu are practiced in various forms of sparring. Regular free sparring trains distance, timing, deception, strategies. Thank you for all coming out and watching our Kelly Dizzle. 